in this video i'm going to be showing you guys um a top you can make with just one yard of fabric so this is just a basic bodice here just your basic bodice pattern the front one just putting your bust measurement divided by um uh, sorry four and then add your seam allowance your waist divided by four add your seam allowance no dating allowance on the waist part right because it's going to be elastic so this is just a basic bodice pattern your shoulder slope your three inches of neckline that's all i marked on this so this is because the year is ending that you probably have like one yard of fabric from everything you've been making this year so this is one of mine here so i'm just going to make this beautiful top um guys please subscribe to the channel only um 24 percent of the people that watch my videos are subscribed 74 percent or so are not subscribed so guys please support the channel by subscribing so the first thing we are going to start with is the pattern so you're going to open it up and choose the shoulder you want to use you can use any shoulder because this top will not have any back or front panel it's just one shoulder so if i turn it and wear it this way the shoulder will be on the right if i turn it and wear it this way the shoulder will be on the left so it depends on you i'm just going to go ahead and i'm just going to go ahead and connect one shoulder like this come down this way and connect it into one armhole and then i'm going to cut this out so this is part that i cut out from this here so now with this one i'm going to mark like three lines here so that i can slash this and spread it out a little so guys you see what i did here i just ruled a straight line down here and then i moved a little bit um, and ruled a straight line down here this is just so that i can be able to cut it open and uh, so that i can slash it and insert and insert about one inch in between in between them so that it can give me that gathering because if i make it plain like this and just put it it will just be straight on my body right it will just be straight like this but if you look at that on you you find that it has some gather to it because this is just exactly my measurement if i just go ahead and sew it close put elastic here there will not there will not be anything together by the top because this is exactly what my shoulder point is supposed to be but once you slash slash this part now and put in maybe one one inch or 1.5 in between then when you gather it you have something to pull together right so now i'm going to go ahead and also cut this um cut my open so guys all i'm going to put in between here is one inch in between here one inch in between here so i'm going to take my fabric now let me move this aside so you guys will see i'm going to take my fabric you see my one yard here this is it here i just folded it into two this way find the way that fits better for you and guys remember your shoulder to your waist is the length you're using here you can go ahead and add about 1.5 for the bottom so you can add elastic to the bottom it depends on you how you want yours to be so all i have to do now the way it's folded i'm going to take this here you see the extra that i'm going to use to fold mine to add the rock um um to add the elastic to the end so i'm going to take it the way it is now i'm going to pin this one down and then i'm going to insert the second part here after with one inch space in between it I'm going to put just make sure that the whole lines are equal on the bottom and then i'm going to skip about one inch here pin this one down and then i'm also going to add the next one skip about one inch in between here and then pin this one down and then this bottom part here is going to be my exaggerated sleeve this part here when i cut it off is going to be my sleeve because um it's just one yard we're using and it's just one side that has a shoulder so as i'm cutting this now you see i'm cutting both the back and the front together because you see this fabric is folded into two so let me go ahead and pin it down so that i can start to cut so guys you see now i've pinned it down i have about one inch in between all of them so all i have to do is just to mark my neckline this way just mark my neckline connect it all the way to the top so i know that i, I have it here if it feels like one is pointier than the other you can just use your hand to blend it in a little bit right and then you come down here mark this here i'm using the whole length of this fabric all the way down and then i'm going to go ahead and mark out my shoulder mark out the armhole mark out the side so that i know what i'm marking when i'm done you see and then i went down straight so this part here all these parts now like this a part of my top even here because i'm going to be folding it for my elastic so now we are going to go ahead and cut and like i told you guys this part here is going to be for my sleeve so let me just cut out this fabric i know that this is what i'm using for the puffy sleeve so i'm going to cut it in a straight line this way up all the way and so i've set this one aside it's going to be my puffy sleeve i'm going to use the whole width of the cloth for my puffy sleeve or you can even reduce it so you can get 
you can reduce it a little so you can take from it if the if the fabric you're using doesn't have any extra right like any scrap laying around you can reduce the width of it so you can take it and use it as your bias or you can just leave it because you still have this part you're cutting out it can still serve as your bias for because you're still going to be making a casing for the elastic at the top so now let's go ahead and cut so guys you see what i did here uh, you're not when you're slashing remember you're not slashing the shoulder part you're only slashing from the neckline down to this part here right because this is the part that needs the elastic we are not putting elastic on this shoulder part you need it to be straight and nice like that so you don't want to slash in this part slash from the other side going down so now let me open up this part i know that i have my two pieces of for my cut right so this is it here i'm going to go ahead and remove all this now you can throw this away so guys, this is what our top looks like at, the, at this moment. So all you have to do now is to go ahead and join the shoulder to the shoulder. Once you join the two shoulders together, let's go ahead and also cut the sleeve we are going to be using. So this is the fabric we, we kept for the sleeve. Like I said before, you're going to use this um, fabric here. And then you're going to go ahead and like, like how I showed you guys how to cut um, exaggerated office sleeve. So let me check the length I have here. So for me, um, I have about, let's say, about 21 inches. So I'm going to use this for my sleeve. So the whole length is what I'm going to be using here. So I'm going to skip about 2 inches at the top for the puffy part, right? And then I'm going to go from the end, not from the fold, from the end. I'm going to insert what my... On this part here, I'm going to insert what my armhole divided by 2 would be, which is going to be, let's say, about 11 inches down mark it down so all this extra part now is going to be the puffy part of my sleeve all this part here at the top is also going to be the puffy part of my sleeve the only part when i'm drawing in my sleeve now my normal sleeve is this opening here that's after these two inches and after this part so let's draw in our basic sleeve now so i'm just going to come down here four inches down here like this and then connect it in a straight line all this way down find halfway through this point for me which is 12 halfway through is going to be six give it a curve below and then take the curve above because normally when you give it a curve above it's going to go just inside here but this time around now you're going to take it up to this point to give you that exaggerated part at the top so now this is going to be our sleeve so everything here is our sleeve we're going to just cut off this top so let me show you what we're cutting all i have to do now is just to go to the sewing machine I'm going to gather the top of this sleeve. You can, you can um, gather it all around the opening of your sleeve, right? You can use these parts like this. So all these parts here, you're going to gather all of them and fit it right around the opening of your sleeve all the way to the end. That's how you're going to gather it and fit it into the opening of this sleeve. And then you're going to use elastic for the casing right you can go to your sewing machine if you want just make sure you notch where the half center part is right halfway through the opening of this part notch the tip where you know that this part is going to meet the shoulder and then the rest of them you can just use your sewing machine set it at um the setting to make a getter and then you make the getter and then fit it into the opening of your sleeve and close it up so that's what i'm going to do now and then fold this part here with about one inch so that I can put elastic at the end. So guys, this is it. I've gone ahead and joined it. Like you, you can see here, I first made a getter with the sleeve and then wrapped it around, sewed it all over. And so let me pull it out now so you guys will see what the end of my sleeve looks like. So you see what the getter looks like. And then I've, I've gone ahead and also folded the edge. So all I have to do now is this casing I made as if I folded the cloth is for the elastic. So I'm just going to put the elastic through it. But if you want, you can do the type where it doesn't need elastic. But this tie has elastic at the edge. Like I mean, if you want, you can leave it open. I don't know what that would look like. But anyone that you prefer is fine. So now we are going to go ahead. So we've joined the shoulder. We've joined the side. So now the next thing is to cut out like about 1.5 inches of fabric using this one that we had here because remember we're still trying to make this using just one yard so i'm going to cut out about 1.5 inches of weight just long enough to get to the end and then i'm going to join it together because this is what i'm going to use so that i can make a casing for this uh for the elastic that will be passed at the top 
so guys this is the elastic i'm going to be using so this piece i added here is just like a bias right i've joined it over around the neckline of this top you see all over so all i have to do is just to fold this here to make a casing inside of it and then i'm going to use this elastic to run it around inside so this whole piece is going to be inside of this just like how you do for a bias and then this elastic is going to run inside of it after that i'm also going to fold the edge here fold this one also and then run this elastic inside of it. so guys this is it here i've made the casing for the top and the casing for the bottom the one at the bottom was just a fold the one on top was just the just like how you use your bias right that's how we made the one on top you see it goes all the way around as a continuous stitch all the way to the side so now all i have to do is on each one i'm going to take my elastic start from one end come up to this side and come back again the same thing at the bottom pass from one end Go around and come up and then just close everything at one stitch so but i i know someone might ask me, so guys someone might ask me the amount of elastic guys i wouldn't really know i just have to just pass it all the way around and then i'll feel it and know if it's enough for me i'll cut up the excess and close it up the same thing for the waist so guys you see the sleeve here i've also gone ahead and put elastic at the cuff so that's basically it so i'm going to do mine now guys try to iron it before you pass your elastic so that the casing will lay flat and everything will come out neat you see i went ahead to iron it now so that i can be able to pass the elastic so once i finish it i'll bring it back so you guys can see so guys this is the sleeve here is i'm um, sorry the top is done i've finished it and then i closed it up on one side so all i have to do is just to zigzag this part of it here and that's basically it. thank you guys so much for watching guys please please i'm still begging subscribe to the channel support the channel and i'll see you in my next one thank you guys so much for your time bye